we have a measurement of uh, SZ carried out on a particle in state cat psi equals one half cat plus Z plus I square root of three divided by two cat negative Z. Now we want to find what are the possible results and with what probability. So in front of our basis states here, and for now I just want you to think uh, similar to x, y, z, except now we have the basis states plus z and negative z. And so we can actually write this another way. So our ket of psi is equal to plus z acting on psi times the basis state plus z. Um, plus negative z, psi, negative z. Okay, now this in front of it is similar, so recall back, so when you have an electric field, we can break this down to i hat dot product with that vector in the i hat direction, plus j hat dot it with the electric field vector in the j hat direction plus k hat dot it the electric field in the k hat direction and now remember when we do this dot product here that's just going to give us back a number or a scalar so we would get a number uh, ex in the i hat direction plus the component ey in the y direction or the j hat direction plus just a number in the k hat direction so I want you to really make this comparison here. So that's what we're doing up here, except it's, it's a little different, but it's still the same idea. So this in front is called the probability amplitude, and it is a complex number used to describe the behavior of our system. So notice how we do have complex terms here. And so if we actually do this now, so let's, let's look at our probability amplitude. So this uh, probability amplitude we know is equal to one half. Now to get the probability, all we do is we multiply that by its complex conjugate. So we'll do that now. So I'll actually write it out for you. So complex conjugate just times the non-complex conjugate. So there's no I in our term, so we just get a half times a half or one quarter. Therefore, we have a 25% probability of finding our particle, okay, particle in the plus Z basis. Now, for the uh, Stern-Gerlach uh, experiment, the plus Z basis is the same as saying that SZ is going to be equal to H bar over 2. And that's actually the result of the experiment. But don't worry about that too much for now. Just getting used to this notation. So now let's look at our other term here. So our other probability amplitude is negative Z psi, which is I square root of 3 over 2. And if we multiply that by its complex conjugate, okay, I'm actually going to do this out again. So just to get you used to the notation, so the complex conjugate, negative z psi. So the complex conjugate, remember, we just add a negative to the i, or any i's in our equation. So negative i square root of 3 over 2 times i square root of 3 divided by 2. And now recall that i is square root of negative 1, where i squared is then equal to negative 1. So i squared will give us a negative 1, negative 1, and we already had a negative out front, so those are going to cancel. Square root of 3 is square root of 3, is multiplied together is 3, and 2 times 2 is 4. So this will give us 3 quarters or therefore a 75% probability. So notice this is no longer a probability amplitude, but the actual probability now. 
so we can also ask is our system normalized and so is it normalized and indeed this question was cleverly picked or just designed in a way such that it is normalized so you can check that by doing psi acting on psi so we do uh, plus z psi um, the probability of that plus minus z psi so we have a quarter plus three quarters which equals to one so if you add up your probabilities and they're all equal to one then you know that your uh, system is normalized so just for comparison another one you could do is we'll just say I don't know some arbitrary so alpha is equal to 1 over square root of 2 times some state we're just going to call 1 right now some basis state 1 over square root of 2 times some basis state we're just going to call 2 right now and is this normalized well we know it is because we multiply the complex conjugate times this so 1 over square root of 2 times 1 over square root of 2 is 2 and same here and if we add them both up we get 1 so that's all it means to be normalized. <clears throat> okay, thank you for watching and have an excellent day.